joining us. Uh, Suzanne has just woken me up and asked me to say a few words to those of you who were not able to call me so that we could have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, but you are interested in applying for a Bailey Opportunity Grant. So I'm going to tell you a few of the things that I would have said had we had the opportunity to talk. First of all, for those who don't know, the Bailey Opportunity Grants were created to help you as an artist or you as an arts and culture organization. These funds are not meant to give you production expenses so that you can present activities and events for the general public. These funds are meant to be an investment in your artistic practice or your business practice. So what kind of grants have they made in the past? Training. Training is something once you get it, you'll never lose it. Second, equipment. Equipment that will help you do your work or do the work you do better. Equipment isn't the same thing as supplies. Supplies you use in the creation of your artwork and then it blows away because it's been invested in the creation of the artwork. That's different. Equipment, a piece of equipment, will continue to serve you at least for a couple of years. Website promotion. The creation of a website can help you in your business practice. It can help you reach more people. It can help you communicate what you do. Here again, it's a longer term investment in your business practices. Also, training cannot just be used to increase your abilities on the artistic side but also to increase your abilities on the business side. So maybe you need some way to track your sales, or maybe you need another uh, gadget for your website that helps you actually sell work from that website. Those are appropriate requests too. Let's talk about the application itself. The application was really developed to help me tell your story to the panel. We don't want you to just be a piece of paper or just, you know, some kind of vague image. We want you to be a living, breathing human being. And that's why those questions in the application are in the order they're in and ask the questions that they ask. The first question is really meant for you to tell us how you got to be where you are today in your artistic practice. When did you start? How have you studied? What shows have you been in? What got you to where you are today? And tell us a little bit of, of how you do your work today. The next question is, what's your ambition? Where would you like to be a year from now? What would you like to be able to do that you can't do now? That tells us where you'd like to go. The third question is how if, when you boil it all down, how are the Bailey Opportunity Grants going to help you get from where you are today to where you'd like to be in a year from now? So that's the heart of your grant. So when you move into the budget, which is next, the budget is just the answer to number three in financial terms. If you want to take a class, tell us what class it is in the budget. Tell us when the class takes place, how much it will, will be the tuition, what the travel will be, all that kind of thing. The place to get details is in the budget. I've noticed that the panel members seem to be more impressed with a detailed budget of an application than a non, a general budget in the exact same application. And I think it's because psychologically they look at a detailed budget and they think to themselves, this person's really done her homework. This person knows exactly the make, model, and storage of the computer that she wants. This person knows exactly how much the tax is going to be. They know how much the shipping is going to be for that equipment. They've done their homework. All we have to do is help them, give them the green light, and they can take it from there and have a successful application. So be Detailed. If you're going to be detailed anywhere, be detailed in the budget. Another idea for the budget, itemize it. If you're asking for a class and you're asking for a piece of equipment and you're 
not that I would recommend it, but itemize it, break it out, and put the thing you want the most first. Make that the very first thing in your budget. Because oftentimes we run out of money. We usually have about 60 applications for $100,000 to give out. And so we can't fund everybody. And the things we do fund, a lot of times we can't fund 100%. So help me when we're looking at how much money we have left, match the amount of money we have left with the thing you want the most. And if that's the first thing on your budget, then that tells me if you can't get it all, that's the thing you can really, really use. Also remember that the deadline is March 20th, 2022. I've been telling people in the phone conversations, it's March 15th, but I just like to mess with them. It's really March the 20th. Don't send your application to lz at knoxalliance.com. That's me. If you have a question about your application, send it to LZ. I will get back to you and we can talk about your application. But it's not submitted until you email it to grants at knoxalliance.com. G-R-A-N-T-S at knoxalliance.com is what gets you in line to have your application reviewed. Don't forget to become a member of the Arts and Culture Alliance. If you put all this work in this application, for heaven's sakes, don't forget to join. People who are not members, when on the day after those applications close, nobody even looks at those applications. They have to be a member of the Art and Culture Alliance, and that is a directive of the funder. We can't do anything about that. So, if you continue to have questions about our Bailey Opportunity Grants, don't hesitate to email me at lz at knoxalliance.com. And if you'd like me to take a look ahead of time at something, that's fine. Go ahead and email it to me at lz at knoxalliance.com. But please do it soon because it, as you get closer to the deadline, I get an avalanche of applications to review, and I can't always give them the attention that they deserve. So go ahead and send it to me. But remember, we're just talking if you send it to lz at knoxalliance.com. It's not an official application until you submit it to grants at knoxalliance.com. Let me know if you have any questions. 